Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome back to Intense Confesh. This week we have my great friend and hilarious guy, Julian Williams. for you to just be clapping for me so I want to alone yeah. I you're you're such a great person that I clap alone for you all the time oh my god you know I just I'm just like I'm so happy that you're like a person you're such a beautiful human oh, being stop! you say the nicest things and you don't have to well, at you're all. just great I know I suck um you're great um you. every time we and you've experienced this but every time I'm like out with friends and you're there like every conversation I have with a girl is like she's like who's Who's your hot friend? Really? Like every conversation. Yeah. Every time we hang out, I go home alone. What, number one, what was the the first concert you went to and the most impactful concert you went to? Or were wow. they the same concert? They were not the same concert. Okay, I wanna know. The first concert I went to was Rage Against the Machine. Oh my God! <clears throat> In, uh, I'm from Buffalo. Okay. York, so I went to Toronto. Oh, so it's not that, that far? No, that's like maybe like 45 minutes. Oh, wow. Yes. I didn't know that. Okay. And then the most impactful concert. Mm -hmm. It's a strong word. Impactful. Just like, yeah. Um, the most important concert. So. I saw... It might be a split. I saw LCD Sound System. And oh my God. I saw them in like uh, at, a, at a festival that was run by the Hells Angels. So there was no law. Like you just couldn't have glass there and that was it. People were bugging out and it was you amazing. You live such an exciting life. That's, no. I There's wanna one, two occasions that I just dropped out of you. What, how, wait, how, okay, how old were you when you went to Rage Against the Machine? I think I was 14. Okay, oh my God. Maybe. It was right when the Battle of Los Angeles came out. I don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, it was their is album? Is that like an album They had an album and they broke up and it was their album right before they broke up. Oh, it was so like, it's like a big deal in the, in the rage the community. The rage, I was just gonna <laughs> say, the rage community. Oh my God, are you still a fan? Uh, yeah, I went in, um, I went to Lollapalooza in like 2008. Oh, nice, nice. And you had the option to go see, they, they have different stages, so they had like, uh, one night was just Radiohead, one yeah. night was Kanye West on one side of the park. Oh and my then God. And the other side was, um, uh, why can't I think of their name? Nine Inch Nails. Oh my God. So very like, and then one side was Wilco <laughs> the next night. <laughs> And Rage Against the Machine. I went to a little bit of Rage, but I went to mostly Wilco. Wilco's but people great. got beat up at Rage. Like people got like slammed. They had to stop yeah, the concert. I feel like fourteen. I mean, no, this was when I was like. Right. This 20. was later. Yeah. But I mean, in general, like them as a band. Yeah. Like being there when you were fourteen in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Was that frightening? Oh yeah, it was terrifying. Oh my god. It was awful. <laughs> How many people were you with? Were you alone? I was with a friend and his dad. And oh, his that's dad fun. did not know what we were walking into. Oh, because I was going to say maybe the dad like was a fan, knew the deal. No, he's no. like, I'll take you guys there. Oh my God. Sure. Oh we'll my get Dunkin' God. Donuts, we'll go over. <laughs> Everything um, I think about is about you. Oh, when I'm clapping alone for you, <sighs> you're thinking about me. I'm thinking about clapping for you. Oh my God, that's great. You I want to do it real it. quick? What's that? To get it back. It feels uh, good. It feels so good right? to know that you are receiving it. I just, I feel so much better right now. You know the appreciation that I've been putting out there for you. Oh my god. Um, I you wonderful doll. Oh, I you cherub. You cherub. <laughs> my god, people are gonna. We're all way too nice to each other on the show. Like mm -hmm. people are gonna like be so sick of. I feel me. like this one specifically is just <laughs> us loving each <laughs> other. Loving each other. I um, the concert I went to alone was the Hold Steady. What? And it was like, I mean, I love them so much. And it was like, I was supposed to go with this girl, like a coworker. And then I knew she didn't like me for like a really long time. Like I, this, she was just like this popular girl and I knew she didn't like me. But like she had said months before, she's like, yeah, like, like hold steady. I love them. Like I have a ticket for that night. And I was like, me too. And she's like, let's go together. And I think I was just like banking on that. We never talked about it. And then day of, I was like, hey, I'm going, going to the Royale tonight. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, um, Patrick's in town. Patrick was her boyfriend's name. She's like, Patrick's in town, sorry. So what? So I went alone and it was, it was so fun. It was just a bunch of like dads, like <laughs> jumping up and down. It was so much fun. It was great. Craig Finn was like, I was like really, really close to him and he was like killing it. 
It was it was so fun. But yeah, I love going to things alone, and I don't feel like weird about that. No, I don't. Think, I don't think people should. I think there's more of a pressure to do stuff with other people than you can. Like I like eating alone. I, I'm an only child, so oh, I okay. like. Okay, so you're like you're like myself. used to yeah. that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really enjoy. It. I like going to movies by myself. I like you know yeah. seeing shows, but anything really. I love that. And that oh um, God. Jennifer Aniston's on the cover. When is she not? I know she's great, right? She doesn't age. Oh, um, God. what did we? I know I'm like. 12 years late to this debate, yeah. but Team Jen or Team Angelina? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I think I'm Team Brad. Oh, wait, you said I support he just, he what just he's, get both. Yeah, like you were in like yeah. a loveless thing. I assume it was loveless, you know, after five years and you found someone else that you really like. Yeah. I'm all for that. Moving on. Yeah. Making, you know, like your life is yours to live. Mm -hmm. you know? But Rachel, Rachel Green on Friends. That was a big crush oh, of mine. Oh, like I was a like, hold time. on a second. Okay. You know what? Honestly, Friends, it was like, it has not ever been in my like cu cultural radar. Are you kidding me? I think I'm a little, I'm a little young for Friends. Like I was like 11 when it ended. Oh my God. So I never, I know it's on Netflix now and everyone's talking about it's it. On, it's all on Netflix. I know. Now. Should I watch it? Yes, you should fucking, what are you talking okay. about? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> silly questions, Liz. <laughs> yes, I'll you should watch all of Friends or at least until season six. Okay. <laughs> We were on 78. Solid number. And, okay, so this is about, okay, here's what it says. <clears throat> it's a bunch of pictures of women in, like, cool outfits, of course. And Love then it that. says, hey, sailor, navel gazing. Sar <laughs> Sergeant chicness reporting for duty, sir. The classic high-waist trouser style from a uniform known as the Cracker Jack gets a major makeover with designs that are brassier than a button. A pop of color looks especially seaworthy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Is it an ad for the Navy? It's, <laughs> they're just, they just want to recruit like young fashionistas. What is this? No. Do you find this attractive on a woman? Like high waisted things? There is something kind of hot about that when you high see a girl. Yeah, when it goes up to like, <laughs> like above the belly. Yeah, like right there. <laughs> It is kind of hot, but there's something kind of like 70s about it. Okay. That I oh, dig a lot. that's a good. That's you know what? That's true. Like all the like moms and like 70s mm -hmm. like sitcoms had like very high waisted. Yeah, I think it's kind of. Um, I guess if you can rock it. If you yeah. can pull it off, it could also be like a really bad. Like it just seems like overly tight. That's 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 the thing. Like you have to have a great form, or mm -hmm. at least like Spanx under it or something. What is it? What do you mean? Do you know what Spanx are? No. Uh, uh, it's like, like a, a corset. Like it's a corset? like a corset, but it's like literally just like underwear that you put on. I don't know. That doesn't and make any <laughs> sense to me. And it's like makes it just makes everything smooth, like before you go out. This is like a well-known. Like yeah, girls do this Spanx all the time. are a big deal. The girl was on Oprah. That's crazy to me that you have to wear something under what you're going to already wear. Well, besides that's, underwear. That's nice to hear a man say because just, yeah. we do so much, you know, for you guys. To Who? Try Women. Where, oh. <laughs> like, we do so much to try to impress you. And really? it's so funny. Like, another guest was saying, like, he doesn't notice if girls have, like, chipped nails and, like, and, like dead ends, like, split ends oh, on their wow. hair. And I was like, we spend so much time worrying about that, you know? But I notice those things. You do. You do notice chipped nails. If your nails. nail game's not tight and your hair game is not 100. Wait, that's so interesting. I might not be for the whole thing. Because you're just like, you're just like, maybe they're not like taking care of themselves. Yeah. That kind of thing. Like, kind of like. It just or they're disorganized. Something like that. Like if I meet a girl in the bar, I'm like, hi, I'm Julian. Yeah. I'm kind of like doing this type of oh thing. Oh my God, you really, you examine. Yeah, because yeah. how you treat your nails is like, you know, they're like very small things on your hands. It's a reflection. Yeah. That's so interesting. <clears throat> it's actually refreshing to hear that because, you know, I've been hearing the opposite recently. Oh, guys just don't care. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, but that's like really like nice to hear. Like the effort is worth some end game. Yeah. You know? I think so. That's great. I Ju appreciate the effort. Of course. Oh, okay, good. That I makes, do. That makes me happy. You're, you're just so great. You're wonderful. Um, you know you are too. I mean, I, don't downplay we, it. Can we do this again? What, you want to clap for each other? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs>